how to create a landing page on Canva and this step-by-step -step tutorial guys I'm gonna be showing you how we can do this so as you can see guys Canva is an amazing place where you can actually edit whatever you want to totally for free and actually it has a lot really really a lot of tools that you can use and if you have Canva Pro Canva Pro has a lot much more stuff so I'm gonna leave you guys a link down below in the description so you can have your Canva Pro totally for free for the next 30 days with that being said let's get started Alright, so the very first thing you need to do here into Canva is after you have created your account, what you want to do is to look out for the actual template. So if I look out for the template section down in here, down below from the home, I'm going to type templates. And here, what I want to do is to look out for my keywords. So as you can see, we do have recommended, we have presentations, social media, videos, print products, and much more. So here into the upper side, what I want to do is to look for thousand for templates. And here I want to look for my keyword, which in our case, it's a landing page. And you're gonna type the enter mark. So once we hit enter, there's gonna be appearing all the different templates for a actual landing page. So what you want to do is to look out for some uh, stuff that actually like fits the best for you. You don't have to worry about the content, you just want to worry about what are the elements that appears into your document. And later you can edit that as you are starting to grow into Canva. So in our case, for this specific tutorial, I'm gonna be focusing on something really, really easy. For example, this yoga exercise landing page. So I'm gonna click here. And as you can see, we do have the customize this template. So what I want to do is to choose this option that says customize this template after I see, after I saw this presentation. And if I think that this one's gonna be really, really accurate for me, what I want to do is to look out for customize the template. So with that being said, guys, it's gonna be popping up the design so we can start working with the tools. Now the tools are a really strong uh, section here into Canva. What you can do if you're using a template, it's gonna be just really easy. What you need to do is to select the element that you want to edit. Let's say for example, the text. And in the upper side is gonna be appearing to all the elements and the tools of the actual element that you just selected. For example, here is the font, the actual size, the color, and much more. If I choose something else, as you can see, the actual tools are gonna be changing as I am selecting uh, more and more presentations. Now here, for example, what I want to do, let's say that for starters, what I want to do is to change the image. I want to talk about some environmental stuff. So if I go here and then focus into the very left part, I can see the design, element, uploads, text, and my project, and there's so much more. But let's just focus into elements. So here into elements, you want to look out for your actual images. So if you already have your own image, you can go into uploads and upload your very own personal stuff. In my case, I want to look out for something free to use. So I'm gonna type for elements. And here I want to look out for environmental, like this, war environment. And here I want to look out for photos. So here into photos, what you want to do is to look out for an image. So once you clicked in there, you just want to drag and drop until the actual image has been now replaced, like this. So I'm gonna just drop my actual actual mouse, I'm gonna type once again into the image, and what I want to do is to choose the option that says cropped, so I can move my image a little bit more into the center, like this. And after that, I'm gonna hit into done. And as you can see, it has changed everything um, really, really fast. So now what I want to do is to select my text. Now let's say that I want to look out for double click and let's say for change the world like that. And once again, what I just want to do, let's say for example that I am not like the, let's say that I don't kind of like the text font. So I'm going to first move this like that and I want to choose my actual font now that you have found that, what I want to do is to change the color so I can make this a little bit more outside the background. So I'm going to choose for something a little bit more green, like this. And what you can do is to choose uh, whatever color that you wanted to. Now, as you can see, there's some kind of a mistake here. There's an actual uh, element that I don't want to see into my actual text. So if I go into the effect section, it's going to appear in the style of my actual text. So instead of just choosing the lift, what I want to choose to choose a shadow. So here into shadow, what I want to do to, let's say to improve a little bit more my actual text is to choose something a little bit more darker. For example, the dark one. And here what I want to do is to change the offset like this and the direction you can import from one place into another one. And you can even, and you can even change the transparency if you wanted to. Now that we have our content already been ready, what I want to do is to look out for the one that says plus add a page 
or since you choose, since we guys choose a template, I can choose this option where it is the page number two. So once again, what I want to do is to customize all the elements that appears in here. Well, let's say for example, that I don't want to add an about a section. So I just can simply drop into the three dots and here I want to delete this page because I don't want to customize this. I want to go and go straight to this. So for example here, let's say that I want to change this text for, I'm going to type into the enter mark and I'm going to go for reasons, reasons to save the planet. And there we go. So uh, once you do have everything now successfully done, guys, I'm not going to be focusing a lot into how you can uh, create more elements. I mean, you now see, you now saw how to use the elements, you now saw how to add photos, how to add videos, how to add uh, graphics. Even for example, if there's a graphic that you don't want to see anymore, just click in there, delete this, and later go into your elements. And let's say, for example, I want to see this uh, here. So what I just need to do is to drag and drop and change the actual size and the position of my element like that. So what I want to do is to go back into the very first part and look out for share. And here into the actual download section, I'm going to choose this option that says download. And if I choose the option that says file typed, we have different options. For example, we have the GPG, we have the PNG. So what you want to do is to look out for the SBG section so you can export this as an actual website stuffed. So I want to choose the option that says download. And lastly, if you want to connect your actual elements, for example, here's the contact us section, the about us section. What I want to do is to look out for the actual element. Let's say, for example, I want to go with change the world, join now. So here into join now, what I want to do is to select this element. I want to go into the three dots. I'm going to select the option that says group. And here into group, what I want to do once again, I'm going to choose the option that says link. So here into linked, what I want to do is to change for a linked or search the page of my document. In my case, I want to look out for the context us like this and hit into done. So once we have successfully done that, what you want to do is to actually show this. And after you choose the option, let's say for example, to choose a PDF, the actual uh, link is going to be working right away. So I can do exactly the same thing with the services. For example, here into services, I'm going to type the three dots, look out for linked, and here into enter a linked or search, you can choose your linked. For example, I'm going to type the page number two, and here into go to page. There we go. So as you can see, the page is working. It's really, really working. Once again, I'm going to do exactly the same thing with the router section, the contact, and so on and on and on. So with that being said, guys, this is how you can create a landing page here into Canva. As you can see, it was a really, really easy tutorial, but you can do so much more if you're using templates. So if you go back into your design here, you can go into templates and you don't have to, let's say, for example, just focusing into the actual uh, elements that appears into this templates. I mean, you can add Add more templates from more different designs. For example, this one, for, this is a totally different uh, marketing agency mockup. So I can add this one if I'd like to to, and I want to choose add this as a new page. And it's not going to be happening in anything at all, anything bad. So all of the elements that I don't want to see into my documents are going to be added right away. And there we go, guys. So with that being said, guys, hopefully this was an amazing and really helpful video for you. So thank you once again for watching the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel, guys. And well, I will see you on the next video.